My papers say in German that I was born on or about November 29th, 1945, in the vicinity of Linz, Austria. And if you're a person that believes that there are no such things as coincidences, uh, on November 29th, my second birthday in 1947, two things happened that would have a, uh, a, an immediate and important impact on my life. Uh, the first of these is on November 29th, 1947, the United Nations voted to partition Palestine, leading to the creation of the State of Israel. And also on November 29th, 1947, uh, the American military government for the occupation of Germany and Austria uh, issued military law number 10 to go into effect the following January, uh, which opened the way for American or, uh, allied military and civilian personnel to adopt orphans in occupied Germany and Austria. So fast forward a month to Christmas Eve, 1947, and I can't tell you what I was dreaming of that night, but I'm sure it was not sugar plum fairies and Santa Claus coming down the chimney and Christmas trees, presents opened under the Christmas tree because such things were not part of my life experiences nor those of the other 239 kids in that orphanage near Salzburg, Austria for Jewish children that had survived the Holocaust. Well, shortly after midnight, I was awakened, taken by my bed and brought before a man that I had never seen before. And after he introduced himself, he looked at me for a while. And while he was looking at me, I immediately identified him as an American because at the orphanage, we kids were seeing Americans come and go all the time. And they were always better dressed than anyone else better fed than anyone else, and even smelled differently than anyone else. And then he kind of shook his head, and he told me afterwards that while he was looking at me, he could think of all the reasons why he shouldn't take me. But finally he decided that maybe he needed me more than I needed him. And he asked me how I would like to come and live with him and his wife in the United States, where I would always be warm and always have plenty to eat, and I'd grow up to be big and strong in a Yankees fan. And he promised that they would always love me. And he probably had me had plenty to eat, because I said, yeah, that, that sounded OK. And within half an hour, he had bundled me up in the back of a car. Uh, and a friend of his with whom he had driven to the orphanage uh, drove us off. Well, as they were approach approaching the, uh, uh, the border crossing between Germany and Austria, I apparently started having second thoughts because I burst into hysterics. And as they approached the gate, I soiled my pants front and back. And then they realized they didn't have any papers for me. And so as they approached uh, the border crossing, the, uh, uh, the same guard that had passed them through only an hour or so before came up. They rolled down the window. He got a sense of the odor in the car, heard the screaming kid, and he said, you got enough problems. Merry Christmas, and waved them on th us all on through. Well, my abductor proved to be my savior. He was, in fact, an American. And within uh, a couple of months, they had adopted me in Germany. Uh, the first adoption made possible by military law number 10. But they still couldn't bring me into the United States because of immigration quotas. That summer of 1947, my father had met with um, uh, three U.S. congressmen who were doing research for what was going to become the Displaced Persons Act in 1947 and, uh, or 1948. 
And uh, what are these uh, a congressman was Jacob Javits who would go on to become a senator. And my father explained to him that although they were talking about uh, uh, American refugees, nothing had been done to address children. And they said, well, we'll write something into the act to take care of them. And when the act was passed, uh, Section 3B stated, 3,000 emergency non-quota visas will be made available for eligible displaced orphans. What does that mean? Well, it turned out it could mean anything you wanted it to. And this is the seminal legislation from which current U.S. immigration policy has evolved concerning the adoption of foreign children by American citizens. And up to now, close to 400,000 orphans have been adopted and become part of uh, loving American families. Uh, when we came to the United States, I was given a visa under this, uh, uh, this act my visa number was one. And so I always like to think that my love of the mountains and of skiing, uh, you know, first became engendered in me from the first Austrian breaths of air I took when I was born. And uh, when I came to Denver in 1971, uh, within days of having my graduate uh, degree in hand, uh, that uh, in the words of John Denver, I was coming home to a place I'd never been before.